Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So today we have another perfect counters video and I wanted to talk about light or I mean fairly light, right? Um, Navy fighter aircraft, right? So we have the F-18C versus the MiG-29K. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, I'm talking about the 9.31 MiG-29, I think that's the, the code, but uh, anyway, it is the late 80s version of the MiG-29K, not the modern version, the 941, uh, okay, so not the, the one that it's in service right now, the one that was developed for the Soviet Navy in the late 80s to be able to be aboard on the new uh, Kuznetsov, right, so yeah, uh, they are basically perfect to counter each other they are from the navy they're both for the navy multi-role they really multi-role even the raider are multi-role uh, both of them have ground raiders and air to air raiders uh the f-18c has a normal mechanical raider and the mig-29k has a normal mechanical raider but with the addition of vertical electronic scan so it's new technology that was being being developed right but both of them are very much similar in range, in everything. Uh, the range on air-to-air -air combat for the F-18C should be a little bit worse than the MiG-29, but not by too much. It's like 10, 15 kilometers less on a small target, right? Uh, should be like 65 kilometers against um, like 80 in the MiG-29, so there's that. Uh, both of them have ground mapping, anti-ship capabilities on their radar, so yeah, very similar. Uh, they are both more modern versions of, not versions, but uh, more modern aircraft than their older brothers, the Su-33 and the F-14. Um, great at dogfights, I mean, they're really good at dogfights, both of them. Uh, limited Raider, as I said, in range compared to the, these older brothers, but still very good. Um, and as I said, they are more modern in that sense. They are multi-role, they can do... Uh, more, I mean, anti-ship and other sorts of things, even though the Su-33 can actually do anti-ship technically, but uh, the it, they're just more modern. And even the MiG-29, it was considered as a better aircraft as uh, than the Su-33. Uh, there are other reasons they actually, uh, the Russians actually went for the Su-33, one of them being the range, for example, but the MiG-29 was a more modern aircraft, okay? Uh, they can be used with missiles and weapons that are already in game, so it wouldn't be too OP if it's added right now. Uh, to be honest, if it's ever added with just the normal semi-active missiles and just the normal air-to-ground stuff that we already have, it would be very similar to what we see already in game. And the performance of them wouldn't be too different from already aircraft in the game, right? The F-18C would be uh, fairly good. Uh, but it has its limitations as, as well as any other aircraft, right? So, yeah. Uh, and But they both of them have uh, a, a room to grow as well in performance uh, in the sense of missiles. So, and basically weapons, right? So, they could use anti-ship missiles, anti-radiation missiles, could be guided missiles and bombs and stuff, laser-guided stuff, uh, fox trees, if it... If they add it, R-77s, uh, M-120s. Uh, remember, the MiG-29 has a kind of a problematic th thing. I mean, it was more close. I mean, it was closer to service than the Yak-41 was. So, with that sense, I mean, it, it, it has the go ahead, go ahead to actually be added, right? Uh, so, yeah. And in the performance, they are very similar as well. Uh, both of them being good at their own thing. The MiG-29 apparently has a better instantaneous turn than the mig than the F-18, but not by much, but he, he does have it, like 1.5 degrees or something like that. It is fairly similar, but still. And the F-18 should have a better low speed, uh, like, survivability in the sense of being better at uh, a rate fighting lower speeds and just overall having a better sense on that kind of situation, right? Um, they're very similar to each other, very similar, according to Gordon Yeffing, you know, this is all according to Gordon Yeffing's book, on, especially on the MiG-29. Uh, in the speed is where things are a little bit different, you know, the F-18 is known for being a little bit slower than other fighters, 
But uh, it's nothing crazy, you know. The max speed is a little bit slower, but um, the major thing is the acceleration, you know. The acceleration is indeed a little bit... Uh, it takes a little bit more time. A clear example is the acceleration, as I said, from 600 kilometers per hour to 1,000 kilometers per hour at 1,000 meters, according to Gordon Yeffing. Uh, the MiG does that in like 13.5 seconds, while the F-18C does in around 18. So as you see, it takes a little bit more time to accelerate. Uh, but I still think that it's just a minor problem. Speeds, I mean, Yes, indeed, uh, I prefer to fly faster aircraft, or at least fast accelerating aircraft, but it's not like a, an F-5E, for example. It's an aircraft that has a very low acceleration or low max speed compared to other aircraft, but it's still very good at its capabilities of turning and stuff. And F-18 would be kind of along those lines, right? It would be an aircraft that takes more time to, to accelerate compared to the other ones, but uh, it will be amazing at turning and just overall a very, very compi uh, competitive aircraft, right? Um, and I think the major thing that we always want to look are uh, these, the payloads. So the payloads are very good. We have here the F-18C uh, and we have some very interesting missiles and bombs and stuff. Let's start with the air-to-air -air part. Uh, A9Ls, obviously, you could carry up to six of them. So very good, uh, just overall very, you know, very good uh, missiles. Uh, obviously, if they ever add something like an R-73, uh, they could add the A9M. Uh, and specifically, we added the A9M-8, uh, which is just a overall uh, like late 80s and early 90s version of the uh, M to be able to turn a little bit better. Remember, the A9L turn 30 Gs and the initial Ms also turn 30 Gs. The M8, uh, according to most sources, turns 35, so it would be a little bit better. Better our CCM as well, so overall just a better missile, right? And then, obviously, the AIM-7s, uh, the, um, the, the, the C variant, I think it's the first variant of the F-18 that actually could use six sparrows, not only four. Uh, remember, uh, in the A variant, you could carry four sparrows and two A9s, or six A9s and two sparrows, or even four A9s and two sparrows. Here you have an extra pylon that you can take more A7s, right? And of course, the A7M would be the initial missile or the overall just standard missile. And of course, later they can receive the A7P with data link and stuff that could be a little bit more refined uh, and just a little bit more reliable. Obviously, if the MiG-29 ever gets an R-77 or something like that, we could see the A-120s being added. Uh, we added two options over here, the A-120B from the early 90s, I think it's 1993, and the A-120C3, which is from 1997 as well. Uh, of course, we could see other versions of it, like C5s and others, to compare to the R-77. This is opened, obviously, but the objective is to show that it can carry A-120s, here it's kind of a, you know, max loadout, 10 A-120s. I mean, I wouldn't take these many missiles. It would be very heavy, but still, um, I mean, it's already kind of a, a slower aircraft, but still we can, in theory, ca take it, uh, I guess, with more advanced pylons and stuff, but still pretty good. In the air-to-ground role, it has very amounts of, I mean, it's just a large amount of payloads, right? Uh, of course, due to the being a multi-role aircraft. So, uh, drop tanks, obviously, napalms, uh, you have the Mark 82s, 3s, 4s, you know, uh, even JDAMs if it's ever added, uh, paveways with the Lightning 2 pod that it's already in the game, so uh, the paveways are already in game as well, should be added. Uh, snake Eyes, you know, I don't know why we don't have Snake Eyes yet, I mean, what 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 is going on, guys? I mean, please add the Snake Eyes, they are very good bombs. Uh, Mighty Mouses and Guided Rockets and stuff, uh, the AW-13 Data Link pod. Uh, so, yeah, various amounts of bombs and stuff. Uh, of course, the Americans are um, using more laser-guided bombs and GPS-guided bombs, and the Russians will use more of uh, TV-guided stuff and laser-guided stuff. So it's a little bit different on that, but still, uh, the, one thing that the, the, the one thing that they use in TV guidance is the Maverick. So... You can use the Mavericks, the D variants that we already have in the E10, and then even improve it uh, E variants as well. 
even walleyes, you know, it can be added uh, AGM-88 as well, you know, the harm missiles, uh, if it's ever added, you know, the uh, anti-radiation missiles, I mean, we don't know if that's going to be added, but still, it probably will at some point, so we can have it. And then even the Harpoon missile, the AGM-84, so even anti-ship missiles. So it can basically do it all. And, uh, you know, we already have anti-ship missiles with the AS-34, so the Harpoon should be added there. And for the MiG-29, it's a little tiny, little bit more limited in some areas, but overall very good. Uh, of course, in the air-to-air -air R60Ms, you can carry eight R60Ms. You can carry the R73s, obviously, as well. Um, you can carry up to eight R77s. Uh, so very, very good missiles as well to be using uh, if the m 20s are added. Of course, we can use um, the R27ERs and EPs as well, only in the two inner pylons. And according to Gordon Yeffing again, uh, you could uh, take four R27s, but being used only in the four inner pylons and being, I mean, you can use two ERs, for example, and the two inner pylons, and then the two middle inner, inner pylons, you could use two more R27s, but only the R or the T, you know, so that would be the limitation of it, but it can be added, I mean, if it's added to two R27 ERs, two R27 uh, Rs, and then four R60Ms, I mean, it would be just a tiny bit better uh, having two more R27s than the MiG-29, than our MiG-29, and still having basically the same performance. So it's not being too crazy, right? Uh, so fairly good. Uh, drop tanks, obviously the same drop tank that we see in the MiG-29s, ZAP 500s, FAB uh, 500s, and uh, 250s from the M62 lines and M54s. Uh, remember the 62 is from 1962, it's the latest bomb, and the 54 is from 1954, it's just the, the older one uh, with less TNT. Then we go for the multi-role part of the MiG-29. Obviously, um, not, I mean, all of these is multi-role, but the really multi-role part, right? Uh, of course, before SU-S24s, S8s, stuff like that can be used as well. But then the guided stuff. Uh, we can see the Cob 500Ls and KRs, so laser and TV guided bombs. And also the KHs or the K, uh, 31Ps, A's. 29Ts, so you can have that the 29Ts, for example, TV guided missiles. Uh, the 31P is a passive version of that missile, which is made for uh, anti radiation, same as the harm. And also the KH 31A, which is the active version of that, that it's an anti ship missile. So, yeah, as you see, it can use anti ship, anti radiation, TV, laser, anything that they want. Uh, I mean, the laser. I have to check, to be honest, apparently it could use it, but uh, there are some weird things about it. But still, even laser and other stuff can be added here, which is just crazy, right? Uh, these two aircraft are perfect to each other, in my opinion. They have a very similar performance. It would be very cool to see flying in-game as well. And overall, just it would be a very, very cool addition, and hopefully it's added at some point to the game. Let me know in the comments what you think about these two. Remember, this is the MiG-29 from 1988-89, right? Not the modern one. I probably w will do another one talking about how the newer one could be the counter for the F-18E, for example, or something like that. It would be cool to see that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and I see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.